All right, guys. So I want to talk about a method for finding new recruiting clients. That seems to be the hot topic every week, week in and week out. When I have my consultation phone calls during the week, I would say over 95% of people that are looking to start their own recruiting business are just losing sleep as to how they're going to find recruiting clients and build a sustainable sales pipeline. I also talk to a lot of recruiting agency owners that have had your own company for months or years, and you're just kind of stuck in a place right now where you need help in finding more recruiting clients on a consistent basis, more of a predictable acquisition system. And I get it. So hang in there, guys. Today, I'm going to show you something that you're probably going to shake your head when I say it, and I understand that, but hang in there with me. Drum roll. I'm going to talk to you about direct mail. That's right, guys. Direct mail has been going on for over 100 years and I'm gonna talk about it today. It's 2023, and the reason why I love direct mail is because number one, nobody's really doing it anymore. They've lost faith in it. They believe that mail doesn't get to a hiring manager's mailbox for whatever reason. Number two, it's cost-effective to send direct mail out, and I'll show you how. And number three, I've recently tested it, and it actually works, all right? But you have to do it the right way I'm going to share with you a system that you can copy. All right. So in the comments below in this video, simply type recruit me and I'll send the entire system to you guys. So you can copy it and start using it as soon as today. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So shout out to Levi, who I spoke to this week. He's looking to start his own recruiting business. Great guy. At the end of our conversation, I asked him, Hey, Levi, if I could put anything out there on my YouTube channel right now, what topic would you want me to cover? And Levi actually said, hey, do you have any strategies behind direct mail? And I'm like, yeah, we actually do. And I haven't done this in quite some time as far as producing a video. So I thought it'd be a great idea to do it right now with the timing of everything. And, you know, guys, look, I know a lot of us are taught cold email, right? I, I hear about competitors in my space who are recruiting coaches that pitch cold email at scale. I hear about cold calling. I hear about video messaging, which I do practice and believe in, but this method right here, nobody does. And this is why I like it so much. It's different and unique. And there's been this misconception out there after COVID that managers aren't going to receive your mail. Guys, they are. Think about it. If you're prospecting reputable companies that have, you know, over a hundred employees, safe to assume they have a system set up where mail, physical mail will get to their stakeholders, to their leadership team, even if they don't work at the office, if they work remote, I would have to assume that any sophisticated business would have a way to get mail to their employees. Okay. And I think you'd agree with me. So don't worry about mail, not landing on their desk. They're going to see it. So here's an example of a flyer that you could put together. This is actually talent resources. He's a, a recruiting coach, Tom Irv, great guy who taught me this process. And this is a flyer that he created pitching recruitment process outsource, otherwise known as RPO. And he set this out to a lot of companies, letting companies know that, hey, he can put a team of recruiters together to fill their internal hiring needs. He went ahead and put a recommendation or a reference down here to show that they've had some prior success with this model, then, then goes ahead and pitches the value of their system and why it works so well. But pretty cool flyer, guys. You can create this on Canva for free, basically. I think their lowest premium version is under $10, if I'm not mistaken. You could hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork to do this for you for very minimal cost or go down to your local you know, FedEx store and get this printed in color. That's what I did. So that's one example of a flyer that you'd want to create. And another example is one that I did for my company, Broadstaff, that I started a few years ago. This is the was one, of, one side of the flyer where we actually put client testimonials in here of managers talking about successes they've had with us and hiring certain skill sets for their company. So what was cool about this and different is that if we're prospecting a bunch of companies uh, across the country who know these companies like Crown Castle and Vcom, because my niche is wireless recruiting and it's kind of a small community. So when they see that we've made placements at these companies, it piques their interest. They know these companies are reputable. And so they believe in us more and realize that we can pull through for them and find them candidates, just like we found their competitors. The other side of this flyer, which I can't find, basically talks about the core competency skill sets that we recruit for, our value prop, and how we find A player candidates. Just another example of a flyer that you'd want to send. So simply what, what we did 
was follow this system right here, which again, I'll share with you guys. If you just type recruiting me in the comments below, if you like this video as well and comment, then I will send this entire system to you. Okay. It's a 10 week system, right? So week one, the actual mailing goes out, give it about a week, maybe, maybe 10 days for the prospects to receive your mail, right? Then week two, you're going to have three touch points. You're going to have an email, you're going to have a voicemail and a follow-up email. Let me show you what that looks like. So if I scroll down, here we go. Week two, value prop, email, intro, voicemail, follow-up mail. So in week two, we're going to contact the prospect a total of three times. First, we send them a follow-up email that references the week one letter and lets the prospect know we'll be calling. The following day, we leave a voicemail referencing the letter and email. Later that day or next morning, we email the prospect referencing our voicemail and asking to schedule a brief call. Amazing guys. So for those of you that are doing automated tools and automated email, cold email at scale, and you're sitting back twiddling your thumb every day, you know, waiting for a response, guys, stop doing that. Get after it, go after your business, have activity every day. Number one, it's fulfilling, right? You're not sitting there like being bored and hoping and praying that someone's going to return to cold, a cold email. I don't know about you, but I feel much better when I wake up in the morning. I have a schedule and things to do every day. And this system right here will give you that at scale. So if you, you know, if you're going to send out a couple of hundred letters, you're going to have a lot of work to do during the day. But this is good productive work, right? So, all right. So here's the value prop email. We actually give you the script. You can just copy this. Subject is follow up from letter. I'm not going to read all guys, but you guys can have this. Simply like this video, comment, recruit me below, and I will send this off to you. All right, so all the scripts are here. Follow up voicemail, how you send the email, the templates. It, it goes up to week 10 and then you do your takeaway. So here's the takeaway, right? Back, we call it the backing off email at week 10. You know, hi, Bob, over the last 10 weeks, I've come to the realization that you either don't have a need for staffing, are thrilled with your current situation, or I haven't effectively communicated the value that, that ConnectGen, our unique approach can provide. And while I pride myself on being persistent, I certainly don't want to come across as a pest. You guys get the drip, but you guys can have this entire system. Hope this helps guys. This has been a really good way to mix up our biz dev efforts. And I know that it will work for you as well. Um, and in addition, in addition to that, if you're wondering how am I going to find the mailing addresses? So I use zoom info. I use LinkedIn sales navigator. I know Zoom Info is pretty expensive. You can use like Seamless AI or Apollo maybe to get the company's corporate address. In some cases, Zoom Info will actually provide the hiring manager's mailing address, not always their home address, obviously, but you know, if they work in a satellite office, you know, if you're targeting Amazon or Apple, then they're going to have satellite offices where they might have their mailing address. But just sending these letters to a corporate address, rest assured, they'll make sure that it gets to the person's home. They usually forward mail to them. So hope that helps guys get after it.